in the last episode, we had seen the Dark Lord come back and reveal to us how strong being resurrected by the Dark Lord can be. We also see Dai and the others watch as they were helpless to help their master, Avan. And in this episode, Avan says his goodbyes whilst graduating the two students he has been training to become heroes. What is going on guys? My name is Roos and if you are new here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it helps my channel a lot. Now, the fight between Ivan and Hedla continues after the initial protection of Ivan from the attack Sizzle, which was directed at both Pop and Dai. And at this point, the man is on his last legs, meaning with little strength and magic ability, as a hero, he must do his best to protect and serve those who needs him most, which are his students and the world. With his little to no magic, he casts Catch Glang, which is a highly defensive spell that turns the body to steel and repels any magical attack, ensuring the safety of his allies before furthering on his battle. And at this point, I also had understood that this was his last and final stand against all evil, in which he would not go down with ease. And with the respect given by Hedla, Ivan was allowed to say his goodbyes and graduate Pulp and die from the hero course. Sadly for Dai, he would not have finished the fourth day with Ivan, as this was the final day before his graduation and if successful, would have completed the hero course. But with the high potential that Dai has, I, as well as Ivan know, he would have been fine and had done so with little to no difficulty. But the person most stricken by the moment though was Pope, as he didn't want his mentor to leave on this sad note being the person to have travelled and experienced the most bondship with his mentor, it was a sad fate for a hero as one well as Avan himself. But as the saying goes, with great power comes with a great responsibility, and so no regrets was formed in his last moments of death, using the magical spell Magante, which uses one's life force to create the energy needed to make an explosive and powerful bomb. With the combat that had gone on between Hadla and Avan, and the one-sidedness of it being the villains overall, you would think that Ivan's trump card, Magante, would have worked, especially as the explosive power of it was quite impressive. Well, actually, no. Had last survived, showing that the man has surpassed even Ivan's level of power and strength capability, and still having enough to go up against Dai, and still attempt to use Frizz, which would have been a pure fire from hell itself capable of turning anything to ashes like what is actually going on here why is he so strong to this level what did he drink oh by the way dai's insignia on his forehead is a sign meaning that he has close relations to a dragon knight, which is apparently very bad for a huddler or anyone in his way especially when mixed with the teachings of avan his damage makes it so that when cut, he heal much slower and his combat ability is much higher than the average or even monster's ability. Hadler got beat down and this time it was very one-sided, making Dai the victor. He had pummeled and embarrassed the man that he had even had to retreat after losing both arms to Dai's advanced version of Avan Slash, which seems to be way much more powerful when his insignia shows up. Now, let me put this into play. If Dai is a human with a Dragonite sign or birthmark on his body and he is able to fight and beat down Hadler, the second in command after his Dark King, that means that he is already stronger than any upcoming villains that, that will face him in the upcoming episodes to come. He is actually so strong that Hadler even swore to get him down personally. Talk about a grudge. But also, if Avon was as strong as he was with no Dragon's Knight birthmark and was just human, that means that Pope has also got crazy potential once he mans up and just gets to work. Once again, a good episode. We still don't know what the Dark King looks like, but I guess we'll see that sooner or later. The highlight of this episode was the development in the story and what path now everyone has decided to securely follow. It's been your boy Roos and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning, afternoon or evening, hope you guys enjoy your day. I'm out. Peace.